Oh, Senator Onyonka, you know you, 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 you stood on a point of order, so I thought you have commented on your, during your time. No, Chair, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, CS, thanks for, for, for coming. And as I said yesterday, as my classmate, I hope that whatever we say here, you'll deliver it to the President, because he needs to listen to what some of us have been saying. First of all, Chair, I'd like to make a, a special statement from myself that it was not easy for me to get information about Adani. This information came to me from a young man who's called Nelson Amenya, who lives in France. The young man sits in one of the investment companies in France, and he saw these documents pass on his desk. When he called me, the information that I was speaking made me, first of all, get worried about himself, because as you realize, Chair, I actually publicly have stated that the information Nelson Amenya has given me as of three days ago is that he has found some people who are following him in France, and he has actually, we have been talking to some people to create a safe haven for him so that he can be siphoned out of France. That's how delicate and personal this matter is to some of us. So, CS, I would like to, if you come across any of your friends who have been participating in this thing, tell them to leave Amenya alone. Tell them what we are trying to do is discussing issues about either we accept that Kenya is going to be a country of public good or is going to be a country, a country of private good. And what we are saying is that we have information that we are going to table here. And I will tell you my CS. Some of these things are shocking, completely shocking. I would like to ask you, you can answer or you can keep the information and answer me before. Uh, Chair, I will start with asking the CS. Do you know somebody called Jayesh Saini? Yes, I do. Thank you. How do you know him? I think he's in the health industry. Thank you. Yeah. Would I be wrong if I said that Mr. Jayesh Saini is the one who has actually been given the transaction of managing our SHIF, which is the new development out of NHIF, because he's the owner of Nairobi, of Nairobi West Hospital, and he is the one who is actually been given the complete system of the financial management of the SHIF point system. Of order, point of order, point of order. I would want, uh, Senator, we restrict ourselves to the mandate. Chair, I think you're wrong. No, uh, you are wrong, Chair. Uh, let, let you can, let, there's let, a reason why. Let, you have to me, allow me to interrogate me the matter. You must allow me to interrogate the matter to its logical let me, conclusion. Let me explain. Yeah. Then you can make a ruling. And, and when you get out of the rail... I am not. My, there is a relationship between the corruption that is happening with the Adani deal and what Mr. Jayesh is doing. Because so, Mr. See, Chair, Senator, don't, don't get keep for him. Please don't. No. Yes. Point of order, don't get keep for him. Just, you are going the wrong way, Chair. Senator Onyonka, just one minute, please. Yes. Chair. It, it is quite possible that there is somewhere that Onyonka... There is a nexus. Is I'm a trying to create him. the nexus. Allow, allow, allow me to make my case. Yes, Onyonka, allow him. Just please. let me explain something, Chair. It is possible that there is somewhere that uh, Senator Onyonka is driving at. That is where I'm going. Just allow minute. me to go Senator where I'm going. Senator Onyonka, you're out of order. Yes, yeah, he is not listening. And I'm trying to so correct. SG, I, I'm telling you now you're out of order. No, Chair, can chair, you protect uh, Senator Onyonga? <laughs> because if now Senator Sifuna invokes the power of being an SG, uh, he might check an out from pursuing no, a very I am on the, I'm line. on the mic to just guide the yes, chair. Yes. I was saying it is possible there no, is somewhere of order, you uh, in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, nexus, uh, you allow him to, and I don't want to use his aviation uh, analogy, let him land the point. Let's see where he's going with it. Just give him a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I, was afraid, I was afraid of uh, getting out of context and losing Kenyans because the issue we are dealing with is the issue of the airport, JKIA. So I thought... He has lost his uh, Chair, his I am giving you by the talking next, about is, health. There you is know? a nexus. No. I was just trying to no. bring him to allow the me, Allow me to set it up. Okay. Now, ask your question. The question I'm asking, I asked him, does he know Jayesh Saini? He said, yes. Allow me to interrogate him. Okay. Continue. You have Thank a you, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. CS. Would I be wrong to say that Mr. Saini is the agent of Adani in Kenya? 
the answer is yes or no. It's up to you. Uh, I'm not aware. You're not aware. Are you also aware that meetings that took place in Dubai where this deal was being discussed, Mr. Jaesh Saini was sitting in that meeting with individuals from the Kenyan government, and I will state here that the person who met Mr. Jaesh Saini in Dubai was Honorable Murkamen when he was the minister in the position you are in. I am not aware. I Without think. having evidence that I can prove, but I think it's important that I make the statement that in that meeting that money exchanged hands. And Chair, later on, I believe as we continue, these details should be presented to this House. The second issue I wanted to ask the CS, in your understanding, I want you to go to where Honorable Terarge was. You go to page... Chair, it is, we start with the consideration of the project progr progress. Minute six. Minute six. I want you to go there, Chair. And your MD of uh, KAA could answer this because it directly involves him, but I, again, it is under your jurisdiction. What we're basically saying is uh, uh, PIP a privately initiated proposal has been submitted to JKIA on that date. They could just submit it to the PPP committee with a covering letter. So you, be, you agree that they actually did the feasibility and finished no, and gave they, you all the That's why I call it a desktop. They are basically saying we've No, received. no, 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 no. In this statement, there's nowhere they have said it yeah, is yes. desktop. It, it is only... There's about, nowhere. But I've clarified in my submission. No, but the report you've given me in your clarification means if you clarify, it changes the statement I have. Uh, so the answer I expect you to give me is yes. Is yes. It can be done. It, it can be done. done. It's just one stage out of the 20 stages Thank you. of submitting the proposal to the PPP that we have read, we have done some preliminary work, and we are submitting to the committee for consideration. Thank it you. It can be done. Go back to where Honorable Gerard Gay was, and he said there were different quarters in government who had a an issue about that is the board that is the board telling you that this report which is being tabled there are certain individuals in government and this comes immediately after this feasibility study after this report you are saying that it can be done in 30 days individuals were sitting and telling us that our airport which is worth 1.2 trillion shillings can actually be given to somebody at 136 billion shillings for a period of 35 years or whatever it is. Did it occur to you, Banawaziri, that when people in government have an interest in this matter, what did it mean to you? Because we didn't know. So I'm talking to you as an outsider. What was your interpretation of this? Like, like I've said, Chair, on again and again, this is, we've not had many PPP projects succeeding in Kenya. And even as we sit here, we are asking ourselves, should it be PPPD, should it be PPP? And therefore, uh, were the board privy to the full uh, runway of the PPP process? Did it mean submitting to the Treasury was for approval? No, it was going to stage two, it would go to stage three, it could go to stage five. We're currently doing a detailed due diligence a proper due diligence that you visit, you answer the kind of, you look at all the details, and by the time you reach stage number 20, it will possibly be a procurement circle that is taking a whole year. So to the extent that um, we are employing PPP for mega projects because we don't have the kind of outlay capital to invest, somebody's possibly asking also in KAA, why not a uh, competitive PPDD process and so on and so forth. But this is just stage two of the 20 stages, uh, Honorable Chair. Uh, CS. But let me allow, let me allow. CS, let me, just, just a minute. Yeah. Uh, Through the chair, uh, Senator. Through the chair, thank yes. you. Thank you, Chair. CS, that's not what I asked you about. You are a cabinet secretary in government. You have gotten a document that has been written by a board. Let's assume this board is Sony Sugar. 
and members of the board tell you you want to hold a PPP exercise in this factory, we are uncomfortable with it because we have received information that some of your government officials and people, big time players in your government, have an interest in that matter. What does that imply to you? Uh, let, let me just, just on a point of order, okay. Mr. Mr. Chairman, that question was asked to the CS, and the CS is the one who has taken oath. If the acting managing director wants to answer, he has to do so with permission from the CS. But you cannot just jump in. Okay. This is yeah. not a chicken coop. He's is well advised? It is, <laughs> and the CS should allow you to take the microphone. Yeah. But I understand you don't understand, so we accept that. CS, CS can, can we proceed? feel free to direct any member of your team to assist in answering questions. I'll, I'll do that, Chair. I, I think uh, to the extent that uh, we've received a PIP proposal to basically build an airport that we've been desiring to build for 13, 14, 15 years. If I received a PPP proposal today for Mausami Dironi, I'll possibly be trying to push it within the next one week to ask ourselves, is it true that somebody can build for us this road? It's not something that I want to sit on in my office. I'll possibly be talking to everybody and saying, uh, we have this proposal, can it work? And therefore, depending on the agency, there could be interest. There's no question about that. But I did say, Chair, that I've just gone back to my step one to step 20 to the extent that even if the board was sitting to consider this. There's a whole due process that everybody must satisfy, must be satisfied, including why we are appearing in Senate today, to answer some of those difficult questions, some of the simple questions because of lack of information, and be able to satisfy everybody that the due process must be followed uh, to the extent of uh, availing ourselves a new airport or uh, starting the process again. Uh, uh, maybe, you, Chair, why don't you allow me to basically get... I, I'm satisfied with your answer. Thank you. Because I realize you're taking me where I don't want to go. The question I wanted to ask, Chair, is very simple. Who delivered the report, the evaluation report, and how was it delivered to whoever that received it? The proposal. The proposal. Uh, can, can the question be made clear in terms of... The, is it the delivery process? Or you see, the, there is... There is, if you look at the issue that I, I've read here severally about how the board met and the, in a period of 30 days there was everything that was taking place and that was geared towards producing a report to justify and prove why this is a very good deal. Who delivered that report and when did they deliver it? And how did they deliver it? There's a reason why I'm asking that question. Uh, P.S., do you want to assist me on this? But the more I think about the 30 days, I think they took so long if we really needed an airport. If, they, if you receive that today, it would be out of... I'm looking at the de documents you gave me. Uh, which which you are the order. one who gave me the documents. Which order, Chair? I think the CS should give us, uh, should respect our intelligence. Uh, one appear, one You're not talking to some nursery school kids. Aye, aye, aye. Respect our intelligence and address us as adults and address us as senators of the Republic of Kenya. Are you addressing Chirchir or addressing the chair? I'm, I'm addressing I, I think